Good day and welcome to our short explanation and unboxing and minor disassembly of the Dell Latitude 5490, the follow-up to the really amazing Dell 5480. So uh, when I say unboxing, there's, we've already unboxed this. There's nothing in it. Um, it's uh, simply your typical um, you know, packaging. There's nothing interesting here. So I'm just going to dispense with that. What's in the unit, what's in the packaging, I should say, is... Uh, your typical uh, modern uh, AC adapter. Uh, strangely, it comes with a, uh, st a standard power adapter rather than the Type C we've seen on some of the units these days. But anyway, that's what it's come with. Uh, in this case, North American plug. Uh, so I'm going to dispense with that because there's nothing interesting there. Then, when we open the unit up, uh, you'll see that uh, there's really nothing particularly shocking here either. It's just a standard looking Dell laptop. Now, this is the one I ordered with. Um, um, uh, touch screen so it's a little thicker than some of the ones you might see. I'm not going to bother with the details here. If, you've, if you're have if you bothering to look at this video you will have already looked at the spec to figure out what you need and as you know these bottles all come in a lot of different uh, varieties. So let's just take a quick look around here. I noticed when I bought the unit that there was this little white uh, piece sticking out which is a cable and uh, that made me want to disassemble it but regardless uh, let's go through it right now and see what else we have here. Uh, to talk about. So there's a super speed to USB 3 connector, uh, VGA, uh, lock, uh, and that is a headphone jack. On the back we have your standard um, uh, Ethernet connection, uh, knockout here, uh, we have HDMI, another super speed connection. Uh, on this side we have another super speed connection, a USB uh, Type-C, that'll be a 3.1, SD card, the SD card comes with a knockout that I've already taken out. Let's pop that out. Okay, now let's flip this over and get to the part that actually counts. So the minor disassembly. So in this case, I wanted to change the hard drive from the uh, crappy spinning disk that was in to, uh, to uh, an SSD, but specifically to an M2, M.2 SSD that is connected on the uh, PCI bus. One, two, three, four, five, Boop, six, seven, and eight. Sorry, eight. <laughs> three along the back, three in the middle, and one on each of the front corners. Now here's where it got interesting. When I was trying to take it apart, if you look very closely, you'll see there's a little tiny notch right here. And that is where they expect, that's your pry point. So I have the proper tools to get into this type of equipment, but uh, I want to show how to get into it without it. So I was using just a standard card, just a credit card. So you pry your finger in there and try to pry it out, and this was really, really, really tough. In the end, what I ended up doing was using a pair of needle nose pliers and pulling on one of these screws, uh, because the screws don't readily pop out, and, uh, and then pry it along. I got to about here, couldn't get it past the corner, so I started working on this corner, and this just took a long time. So it's really tough, but rest assured you won't break anything. It is uh, your typical, I think it's magnesium back. Uh, so it's very strong, very lightweight, but very strong. You're not going to break anything. Um, anyway, so I started working on it from this side, and uh, I was more successful. I started working on the top corner here. So let's just pry this off. There we go. So I've got all the screws off. As I said, uh, the screws don't readily pop out. So, so what we have here are the vents. Uh, on the back of this, uh, I believe, again, it's magnesium. Nothing particularly interesting, so we're not going to focus on it. I'm just going to move that away. Now what's inside is interesting. So this has typical battery. Uh, it has, you know, in my case, I ordered it with a single uh, uh, DIMM, uh, dual inline memory module. But there's a second slot here for a second chunk of memory. Um, and um, that's so I can expand in the future. Now the uh, disappointing part is that in the 5480, there was a, an M2 slot right here. And uh, that M2 slot let me use Intel rapid storage technology, Intel RST, to combine um, a small SSD, a 60 gig SSD, with the crappy spinning disk. And then I was able to get very, very high performance out of, uh, you know, two terabyte uh, spinning disks. The bottom line is that's gone. Um, if you try to order them online, uh, you know, from Dell, or you call them, they'll tell you they don't exist anymore, that that, that function has been removed, which I'm quite disappointed about, but it's it's what it is. So. Uh, next, then, uh, what I want to do is remove uh, the crappy spinning disk. So I have uh, pulled out the four screws that were here. They're just normal screws, nothing exciting. And uh, pop this off. 
it just falls out. Nothing really useful here. Now there is one M2 connector, um, and that M2 connector is right there. And that uh, means I can pop it, I can still pop in an, uh, an M.2 uh, disk, uh, you know, solid state disk, uh, and run off this, I believe will connect to the PCI bus, and I believe at that point I will be very happy. So um, the difficulty I have now is this little connector, you can see there's a space to screw in a, um, uh, a little clip to hold the back end of this, uh, this uh, M2 chip doesn't ship with the unit. So I'm getting a hold of our Dell rep to see, you know, where can I source that from? And I'm sure I can source it at some point. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck using, I'll still toss this garbage uh, spinning disk and put in a uh, solid state disk, but I'll be stuck working off the standard SATA bus. I'd much rather work off the radically faster PCI Express bus, which is where this M2 connector, I believe, goes. Um, beyond that, we've got speakers at the front. Um, uh, you've got your BIOS battery. This is your CPU and CPU fan. You always want to make sure that's clean. And uh, I think that's really all we really care about in here. You can see that there's space for an, an MWAN connector at the back here. And this is the uh, wireless uh, uh, that I've chosen, the wireless uh, card that I've chosen. I can see the antennas coming off here. Uh, they'll go up into the screen. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.